There follows a simple demonstration of these principles. In this example, I'll talk about CPU. But the same principles apply just as well to other resources, such as memory. I call this consolidation math. I encourage you to play along. In this simplistic example, let's pretend that we have a five-core server. We hold up our hand with five fingers extended, one for each core. Now, if that server is running at 60% steady load, we can think of that in terms of using only three of the five cores. So we take away two fingers for the two cores that are effectively unused. Now, what are we doing with the three cores we're using? The load can be divided between running the infrastructure, the OS, the RDBMS, and running the application. Let's say that the background overhead consumes one core. So we take away one more finger, leaving two fingers, or cores, required for application processing. So let's remember that. We need two cores for application processing. OK, now let's consolidate into a bigger server. This one has 10 cores, so we hold up 10 fingers. It would be foolish to run this at the red line with 100% CPU load. Perhaps 70% is a better target. So we should take away three fingers, leaving seven remaining fingers, or cores, in effective use. Remember that, with multi-tenant, there's a single shared set of background overheads, shared across all PDBs. So we can take away that same single finger to account for the infrastructure. This leaves six fingers for application processing. Remember that we have previously determined that we need two cores for application processing, and here we have six cores available. So in this example, with two times the number of cores, we can support three times as many applications when consolidating with multi-tenant. And we started with a server that was 60% utilized, which is not bad at all. What if we start with a server that's only 40% utilized? Even that's not too bad. 40% utilization means we're only using two fingers or cores. Again, we take away the finger for the background overhead, meaning that only one core is required for application processing. Using the same logic, therefore, we should be able to consolidate six applications like this in a 10-core server. I know what you're thinking. Nice slides. Silly game with the fingers. When does this get serious? Well, it turns out that these analogies are backed up by real-world system testing. Oracle conducted a very thorough study comparing two consolidation strategies on a T58 supercluster engineered system. Details are available at oracle.com slash go to slash multi-tenant. This slide summarizes those results. In each case, the gray bars show stacking multiple single instance databases. The red bars show consolidation with multi-tenant. Test 1 compared maximum throughput with 252 databases, consolidated in each case. With multi-tenant, we achieved 80% higher throughput. Isn't it interesting that the multi-tenant architecture, designed for consolidation, also enables significant performance improvements? For the second test, we established a baseline throughput per database with PDBs. This was repeated for non-CDBs. In each case, we added databases into the server until throughput per database began to degrade. With multi-tenant, we were able to consolidate 50% more databases before reaching this threshold. The third test shows the dramatic memory efficiencies of multi-tenant. Excluding buffer cache, multi-tenant required one-eighth of the memory of the other strategy. Test 4 might be viewed as the inverse of test 2. To deliver a specific throughput per database would require 50% more cores. One might think of this as an overhead 
of one third of a core per single instance database. So with our consolidation math, that's really a third of a finger. Nonetheless, 64 cores is a lot, especially when server software is priced per core. This fifth test showed a 3x reduction in IOPS. Technically, this is due to piggybacking of writes during log file syncs, but trust me, it's a good thing. IOPS are expensive. Reductions of this scale are a big deal.